Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing if you like what you see. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I took a sectional that my daughter has had for over 10 years, my oldest daughter, and she gave it to her sister, and I am going to do my own version of an R and H or restoration hardware dupe of a cloud couch using drop cloth. These are videos that I found on YouTube that I watched. The one that says DIY, I watched this young lady show how she covered her pillows. The very first one at the top shows how that person um, did a couch cover using drop cloth and just pinning it so she can take it off and watch. I am going to be applying drop cloth to my daughter's old sectional using a glue gun. And again, this is just a few videos that I found on YouTube. What you saw at the beginning of the video were inspirations that I found on Pinterest. This took me three days to do it. So this video will be in threes. I'm going to be doing the love or the sofa part of it, the sectional and the ottoman. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. This is the sectional, the brown, and in the middle, is the brown ottoman and I just put a, uh, the sage green ottoman. I'm going to be covering that too. I initially was not going to cover it, but I'm going to be covering that too. This is the chase part of the sectional and next to it is the ottoman. And then on the other end is the love seat. The pillows I purchased last year, 2020, uh, summer of 2020 from a thrift store. And I ended up covering all of them. You'll see where I was initially going to use these flower pillows as the long oversized lumbar pillow for the love seat part of the sectional. But my daughter didn't want that because it was kind of flat and she wanted it to be full. So I will be covering each pillow individually except for the beige uh, brown mixture color ones. Those four pillows, they'll be staying that color. And the ones that are in white, we took the covers off. So here's the love seat portion of the sectional. And this is the part that I'll be covering first. And then I did the brown sectional on another day, the chase on another day. And then I turned around and did this other sectional. These are the drop cloths that I will be using. I purchased three packs of them, which was just enough. I had some left over. And this drop cloth, just one can cover her entire living room floor, corner to corner, all the way around. And they were not expensive at all. I will flash on the screen, um, and I purchased them from Amazon, the price. And what I liked about these, these had seams in them. So I basically cut them along the seam just to match each section of the love seat and the sectional. And I will be showing you how I put it all together. So I won't continue talking again, as I always do in my other videos. If I need to explain something in depth, I'll come back on in the video. And I hope you like what you see. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. So let's get started with this makeover of the cloud couch. Now here I am taking the um, cushions off and the backing on the love seat and on the chase, they are attached. And what we didn't like about this, whenever we wanted to fluff it up, it was hard to do. They would just continue to um, lay down. So you'll see I'll be taking some scissors and just snipping the thread that has them attached. Here I already did one on the love seat portion of the sectional. And this is just the filling that's inside of it. I will just be recovering these with the drop cloth. I won't be taking the stuffing or, or anything out. I'll just be covering them. And um, I'm getting ready to show you now what's coming up, how I just snipped the threading that has them attached to them. I did that on the love seat as well as the chase.
Now that that is done, I turned it um, on its side or front facing forward. I removed the legs and I only removed the feet off of the love seat because when it was time for me to put them back on, it was so hard. So I found a better way to cover the um, ottomans and the chase without removing the feet. So um, here I'm just showing you the feet that was removed and now I'm getting ready to cover or put the, I'm showing you the inside of it because this, this uh, sectional, it was very good and very sturdy and last a long time. So my daughter purchased this off of Craigslist over 10 years ago for $300 from someone. So how long the person that before her had it, I don't know, but this had good bones. But here I'm showing you, I threw um, the drop cloth over the side of the love seat and I'm getting ready to cut um, along the seam and that's what I end up doing each to each piece every time I wanted to lay some fabric down I just cut along the seam all the way down because number one it made it lighter for me to handle because this is very heavy so it made it lighter for me to handle handle and was much more manageable because I didn't have to deal with this um, as much fabric so here you see i've already cut it off and i'm just putting this to the side but i'm just showing you the seams i use those to my advantage when it was time to line up the seams that was on the drop cloth to the seam that was on the piece of furniture that i was working with and here again it's um i'm pulling it up to the arm not over the arm but I'm pulling it up to the arm. I'm going to cut excess off and I make sure I cut um, a little more than necessary to allow for seam allowance for me to turn it up under. I don't cut right up to the point of where I want to lay it down. I cut it to where I can fold it under to make like a hem before gluing it down. I decided to just glue this entire sectional, the uh, canvas to the entire sectional because again, it is old and she's never going to remove it. And I'm going to be um, spraying the entire sectional with Scotch Guard. Now here you can see I um, took the lining away from where I am gluing down the cloth and then I will glue the lining back on top of the cloth. This is the underside, the part that sits on the floor of the love seat. And of course it's not going to be touching the floor because the feet lifts it up off of the floor. But I'm just doing it this way because I liked the clean finished look of it and I didn't want you to see the, I didn't want the lining being seen, you know, when you walk away and you can see up under the um, love seat. Okay, now I'm lifting it up and I'm going to um, stretch it just to make sure it's fitting perfectly. And I will be gluing the part that you see my hand on. I'll be gluing that to the seat on the sides. I'll be leaving it open because when I put the extra fabric in, I want to be able to tuck the fabric in, except on the side that you're seeing there where I was, I'm going to make a pattern of, for that side using newspaper. But this side, um, I'm able to tuck in. I'll be doing the same thing to the arm 
of the love seat tucking it in and it is just enough to where i can get the glue gun in there to glue it so it won't come out for when someone leans back on the sectional when they're sitting down and here i'm just again just gluing it and tucking it in and i'll be doing that just along the whole bottom portion of that i didn't put any cloth where the black parts of it still showing because the pillows are going to be there hiding that and when I start covering the arm, I thought I was showing how I did the front part of the arm, but you'll see that when I do the chase because the arms are the same. Now here I'm showing you, I'm putting my finger in. That's where I'm going to leave it opened because when I put fabric on the side, I want to be able just to tuck it up under there and glue it down because I want it to have a seamless look. Here I'm tucking it in and I'm going to leave it tucked in and then just cut excess right here. I'm getting ready to cut the excess and the excess that I cut, I'm going to pull it out, turn it under and just tuck it down. And like I said, I'm able to get the glue gun in there to where I can glue it down. And here I'll take it out and I'll fold it in and tuck it in and then, and I didn't show it, but I did use the glue gun to go in there and, um, permanently secure it again so when someone is sitting down that piece of fabric won't come out now this is the part where i said i thought i showed how i did the arm but you see what i'm tucking fabric in some parts of it i'm just matching it right up to it but the fabric that's above what i am doing now that's the front part of the arm i left that opened and all it is i didn't even cut a piece of fabric to match the shape of it it's just a rectangular piece that i just put inside of the openings that i left on both sides and i put glue in there and pressed it down and here i just put another piece and matched it up this is the bottom of the sectional i threw over some fabric and i'm cutting um not the sectional the love seat <laughs> And I'm cutting excess fabric and I'm going to turn it up under and just um, glue it down. This is the opposite portion of where you saw when I was showing you the opening when I said it will not touch the floor. This is the opposite across from it that I'm doing it. So I kind of finished the edge all the way around the bottom of the love seat. And I did the same thing to the chase. Now this is the part that I show you I was going to uh, make a pattern because I really didn't know how to get the fabric covered. When I did the pattern to this, I found out I didn't have to do a pattern when I got to the chase portion. The chase portion, I was just able to just wrap it around and cut and glue. But here I used newspaper just to make a pattern for this. And then again, I made sure I cut it a little bigger than that section just so I can have seam allowance to turn under the fabric to glue. Thank you. 
Again, if you notice, I am following the pattern that I made, but I'm cutting it a little bigger than the pattern itself to allow for seam allowance. So if you ever decide to do something like this, when you create a pattern, just remember, always cut it bigger than what you've actually created as far as a pattern so that you'll have enough seam allowance to um, turn it inside out. And basically, um, I put the glue on first and then match the piece to what um, I created. I matched the piece of material that I cut to the shape of this arm or this side of the um, love seat. Now I'm almost done. So now um, I'm covering the cushions and basically I'm going to be doing a basic present wrap type of covering um, because I didn't have any kind of pattern in mind or idea of how I was going to do this. So um, I just fold it over and I'm going to kind of wrap it like a gift wrap because I didn't want to do a zipper. I did kind of want to do the envelope where you would take the pillow out and wash the casing but I didn't want to do that and since I'm going to spray the entire thing pillows and all the throw pillows and the entire sectional with scotch guard spray um, it's supposed to be where if you got any stains or anything supposed to be water repellent supposed to roll off of it supposed to be easily um, able to wipe and here it is completed with the cushion and the next thing that I'll be showing you is how I did the backing which again were those two pieces that i took off i'm going to end up using that i'm going to first show you that i was going to use the big flowered pillows here basically i'm making a oversized lumbar pillowcase and my initial thought or plan was to use the three flowered pillows that i purchased from the thrift store to fill this i initially did that but when my daughter saw it she said it was just a little too flat for her so I ended up just using, and you'll see them behind me right there on the floor, um, the brown pillows that I initially cut off of the left seat. I just ended up putting those in there and it did make it big and fluffy like she liked it. And then the three pillows, I end up covering those separately to use as pillow throws. And here I'm just turning it inside out and basically it's an oversized lumbar pillowcase. And then these pillows, I initially put them in there to cover and they were just too flat for her. She really wanted something that was cushiony and felt like when she laid down like a cloud or something was covering her. So I put them in there and I, you know, straightened them out and just let her, you know, look at it and see. And that's when she said, no, mom, that's too flat. So I ended up just taking the original pillows that was attached to the love seat and putting them in there and then gluing the um, opening closed and just putting it on the sectional. So here is the before of what it looked like. And here is the after of the love seat portion of the sectional. And you can see these two pillows are not the flower pillows. These are the rust ones that you saw at the beginning of the video and they're down 
filled pillows, feather filled, and I like the way they came out. And she really loves the way it came out. You can see the uh, chase over there still needs to be covered. This took me three days. I did the love seat on Saturday and it took me an entire day. I started like nine or 10 that morning and I was done about five o'clock that evening or that afternoon. And then Sunday I did the chase. That took me all day. And then on Monday I did the ottoman, the brown ottoman. And um, the next day I did the green ottoman because I wanted to give that full cloud couch look. But I, and that's just the shadow that you see, the shadow, um, that dark part on the pillow. And here it is, um, you can see a sneak peek of the ottoman, but those pillows I put on there. And here is the ottoman. That's the video that I would ask that you go to next to see how I covered that. And then the next video would be me covering the chase. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.